around Thanksgiving's coming up pretty quick. So uh, yeah. we gotta get again. Okay. Well, YouTubers, when you're at gold, you never know what's going to happen. So I'm walking down the, the road here behind the castle, and there's two people in a car, I guess, waiting, maybe trying to find out what's going on here. Well, I'll go see them. I don't know, they're PI tourists or, or what. They don't look like they're stranded. Well, we'll go, just go have a chat with them and see what's up. Remember, this is Scientology, so something weird could happen. Look at this. <laughs> he took off, finally. Oh, well. Sorry, guys. That's all you got to see. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Welcome to Gold Base. Yes, that's the place. That's the place for the best raids. What a great day to spend a Sunday. Hey, let's give our friend a little surprise from the back. That's going to be interesting. He can only drive backwards, I think. So he's going to be a little fucked. Hey, buddy, will you fucking stop pissing us off? Okay, will you fucking stop messing with our car? You're trespassing. Okay, you need to I don't give a property. fucking shit, you fucking moron, you idiot. You're trespassing. You need to get off my property. Fuck you. You're trespassing. Hey, hey, hey! Trespassing, you're under arrest for trespassing. No, no, fuck you, you're under arrest for trespassing. Hey, guys! You're under arrest for trespassing! Hey, hey, hey! hey. You were tackled by four people? Correct, yes. And uh, it was uh, basically a, a setup. They. Mm -hmm forced me to go on a side uh, trail mm -hmm. uh, and then they ganged up on me from behind and the front and frankly uh, I'm not a small guy but you can't fight for full-grown men and they beat me uh, very seriously there's uh, video footage of that uh, a knee on the neck full pressure that damaged uh, some nerves in there. I had several contusions, six or seven contusions, and I, I, I was hurt uh, couldn't seriously. Breathe. Hurt. Couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe because they were... Uh... Now. Okay, Danny. Get off the property now. You know you're trespassing. That's a sign. Why is there so, a sign. Why is there so much barbed the wire there? Why is there Get so much the barbed road. wire there? They had the, Danny Dunnigan had his hand covering my mouth and nose, they were sitting on top of me, and I, you, you, you tend to panic when you've got so much uh, strength against you and when you can't breathe. So I had no choice. I actually bit his hand to, to get him to, uh, to back off, and then I could breathe again. And this is just because you were standing on public on a public street outside. Well, I was protesting uh, with signs. I, w I was doing that all day with four other people. But they made sure to try to tackle me and catch me in that situation. And at that point, it's not because I happened to be standing there. I've been standing there all day. They wanted to get back to me. These guys are not cops. They don't have the authority to do this. Let me turn around. No. Hey, fuck, no. Come on, man, leave him alone. They're hurting him! Hey, the paramedics are here, man. You guys are going to be fucked. I hope you realize that. Yeah. This is not going to keep us telling the truth about you guys. Uh, that's what happened. It was clearly uh, 
violent uh, episode that should have been clearly seen by the cops as a, an aggression against a peaceful person. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Sure. But the district attorney wouldn't prosecute? Well, the problem at the time, the district uh, attorney of the time was getting uh, political donations from Scientology. Mm -hmm. Scientology would also donate to the Board of Supervisors, this to the sheriff. Uh, that's correct, Rob Pacheco, and then uh, he w they would also donate to the uh, uh, sheriff re-election and those kinds of things. So they also go to a lot of their events and they invite such people at their events. After this attack, I went full time on this to do deep research. All right. All right. Okay. Nice to Mr. Stone, I gave you a document Hello. about beatings at Gold Base. Mr. Uh, Stone, don't you I want to talk to us? To that document. Uh, <laughs> did you give it to Mr. Ron Pacheco? There's people uh, getting beat at Gold Base, Mr. Guillaume and Sir. Uh, what? Why are you walking away from that? This is serious stuff, sir. I met a lot of people in Hemet, in San Jacinto, old timers that were at Gold Base, spoke on the phone, a lot of people emailed, or met people. And one of the things that, that they told me, among many, many things, was that every year they had this vendor appreciation event. And uh, anybody that did business with Scientology and law enforcement, anybody that was anybody, the politicians, local politicians, would go to these events and there were prizes, plaques, and, and all kinds of stuff. But the, the food, I've been told, was the best available. And they went to enormous efforts to please local politicians and law enforcement. Was there a policeman who got $5,000 for renting his backyard? He was offered, mm -hmm. okay, but he refused. Mm -hmm. uh, this I was told uh, by an officer mm -hmm. that drove me 20 miles. So I was in the car with that officer and I was able to, you know, talk mm -hmm. all I wanted. And uh, I was told that um, one officer was offered simply his backyard as a training for hand-to-hand -hand combat for the uh, guards at Gold Base. And that officer was offered $5,000 for an afternoon of training. So, so the, the amount was ridiculously high. It shouldn't have happened. We shouldn't have any kind of collusion between a so-called church and law enforcement. It was all wrong, and that particular officer was great to have refused it, but the offer was made, and we have to presume that this has happened before. Mm -hmm. yeah.